What's going on everybody? Mo's World here and today I'm going to try to change the thermostat on this 2005 Honda Civic. There's no VTEC sadly so I don't know what's a Honda without VTEC but anyway the thermostat is gone on this. It's always cold in this car and there's no heat. So what you need to do, go into AutoZone and got the thermostat. As you can see, OE supplier. And then I also got made in Japan gasket. Yeah. Made in Japan. And what you need, basically all you need is a 10 mil. 10. You see these two bolts down here? There's one right here. And there's one up there as well. This one and this rusty one right here. And the thermostat's in here. So let's get those out and see what happens next. <clears throat> all right guys we're back at it again so once you take out those two bolts like i said they're right here one and two you don't want to take out the the hose for it so you can see everything better so what you want to do is <clears throat> put the short end inside here and then the long end inside the head also, when you're putting it in, make sure there's no gap in between. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Also, when putting on the rubber gasket, make sure that the little tabs, as you can see here, lines up like that. The little circle will be for the golden knob nub thing, and then the little ridges or mountains will be on the long side. So that it can sit flush, like that. So now, the thing was, you gotta make sure that it goes flush in. You don't want to force anything, right? So, as you can see, everything is flush around this edge. Uh, all you gotta do is literally just put everything back in. This is like a 10 minute job. I just use a 10 mil. So now we're gonna try to bleed the system. So what we're gonna do is put coolant in here and try to bleed the system. I'll show you that in a second. So I got the antifreeze, do not add water, 50-50. It up. All the way. As you can see now, it's gonna start trying to pop it. So what you want to do? Keep pressing these hoses to get the water out. Even the lower ones. As you can see. Squeeze these hoses, try to get some the coolant out the damn lines. Just keep putting coolant in, and it slowly gets sucked in. Put more coolant in. So to keep bleeding it, you pull it up, you go back here, you push it. The accelerator, you just push it a little bit. As you can see, the coolant is going down. So the more you do that, the more the coolant will be blood. Let's put some in the overflow. Like that. Okay. 
Oh, that should be good. Everything's filled up. I'm gonna put the cap back on. See here, the thermostat is right where it should be in the middle, but a little bit before. Check engine light's still on. I'm gonna go for a little bit of a drive. Uh, yeah, it should be good now. We check for leaks. As you can see, no leaks around the housing. 